We'll return to PBS NewsHour Weekend in a couple of minutes. But first, some local news. If you've been by Elner Tinsley Park lately, you've probably seen a whole lot of this and a whole lot of that. So what's all this construction about? Well, it's all part of a bigger plan. The Buffalo Bayou uh, Park Shepherd to Sabine project is a $58 million effort. And the goal of it is to transform the bayou from Shepherd Drive to Sabine Street. The transformation, which is taking place in three phases, is expected to be completed by mid-2015. Phase one made improvements to the park's infrastructure and phase two is underway at Elner Tinsley Park. What that consists of is opening up and really making that, um, that whole area, which already hosts a number of events, just that much uh, better piece of infrastructure. We will be regrading and reinforcing the oak LAs up at the top and making the upper promenade a little bit nicer place to be. And then also at the top, that area is going to see a complete redesign. It will make it a much more uh, pedestrian focused and garden focused uh, park. These improvements will enhance the seating bowl for major events such as Summerfest and Freedom Over Texas. The area will be named the Bud Light Amphitheater thanks to a two million dollar donation from Silver Eagle Distributors. It allows uh, us to provide, and by that I mean the city, the type of outdoor venue that will be multicultural and multi-demographic. And once the work is done at Elner Tinsley, the entire Buffalo Bayou Park project will culminate with the addition of a dog park, two visitor centers and more greenery. We're trying to build a robust park that, that can withstand hopefully a, a lot of users, but at the same time still maintain the vitality from an ecological standpoint. I think Houston's are going to come to realize that this will probably be Houston's premier park space. For Houston Public Media, I'm Edel Howland. Now back to PBS NewsHour Weekend.